this video, I'm going to introduce you to some of the things you can do to change the look and feel of your SharePoint 2013 site. Now, in uh, 2013, you've got these nice tiles right on the front page of your site where you can change the look of your site right away. Now, if those tiles are not showing on your site, you can also get to the same place under your gear icon or your site actions menu. Um, you have the option here to change the look directly under your site actions menu. And you have to be a site owner to do this, so just FYI. All right, so our current site theme is this one. We'll go ahead and click on it, and you can see um, right away it's using the, Se the Seattle site layout and the fonts are Sego UI Lite for the page title and the body text. So I want to do some uh, manipulating of this particular look and feel. I will go ahead and uh, change it to pink so you can see right away what uh, changes I can make to the site. And I'm going to change the font. I'll use the impact so you can see at a glance that uh, I'm using something quite different than what I get out of the box. So I'll go ahead and try this out, see if I like it. And I can get a, an idea of what my site is going to look like before I commit these changes. And I'm looking at this thinking, hmm, not quite what I had in mind, so let's choose that link. No, not quite there yet. And we'll go ahead and uh, start over. And when you start over, you get back to the sample of templates that Microsoft delivers with SharePoint. And uh, I want to choose this nice blue one. This one has a nice look, has a very nice background, it's um, calming, has a nice effect, and if I don't particularly care for those colors, I have an option here to uh, go through and change them. Sort of like that dark blue, isn't that pretty? Uh, the red doesn't quite go with that background image. Um, and, and the nice thing about um, the look and feel is you don't have to involve IT, your users have a nice uh, selection of templates that they can pick from and if they don't like this background image they can change it and it, it just makes it much easier for your end users to fiddle with some of the look and feel of their site collection without having to um, go in and impact your IT department or your uh, web designers to go and uh, help them with some changes to their sites. So I'm going to go ahead and try this one out. And as you can see in SharePoint 2013, as, as it's working through um, making changes, you'll see the working on an icon gear uh, continually shifting as it, as it uh, commits these changes to your server. Okay, I like this. I'm going to go ahead and keep this one. Now these tiles that you see on the front page whenever you have a new site collection, those are easily removed. Um, just click remove this. And the nice thing about it is if you need to get back to those um, options, you have the options right here under change the look. And if you want those tiles back on your page, just go ahead and edit your page. And it's a web part, so you just need to insert a web part. And you'll find it under uh, media and content, I believe. Yeah, get started with your site. And that's a nice, easy to remember name that they put on that web part and uh, just add it to the page and click save. And there you go, the tiles are back. So there's a lot of other things that you can do with SharePoint. We'll, we'll uh, produce a video for each one of these tiles so you have an, um, an experience of SharePoint 2013. If you haven't already started using it, you'll have an opportunity to get a look at what SharePoint 2013 offers you for your environment.